Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Eat Book Vlogs. I'm Kiara. And I'm Cha, and my hair is a mess. Sorry, one more time. Welcome to another episode of Eat Book Vlogs. I'm Kiara. And I'm Chow. And today we're we going to Chi Buffet. You've seen us have high tea buffets. You've seen us have dim sum buffets. Well, even chocolate buffets. But today we're gonna have some Japanese buffets. Yes. What's your favorite type of Japanese buffets? Um, anything that involves beef or wagyu, especially. I like those sashimi kind, maybe ah. some hot pot. So, are you ready to Chi Buffet? Um, I'm ready to chew tao fei. Alright, let's go! Let's go! <laughs> so first up, we're here at Roku Yakimiku. Mm -hmm. It's a Japanese Choco Girl Buffet restaurant and they have a variety of meat as well as vegetable and sides. The display of vegetables that they had at the counters, right? Looks so cool because they had those misty blowers going on. So what do you look out for when you're in a barbecue buffet? Well, I look out for the meat and what I love about this place is that you don't have to loiter around this single tray of beef to oh. replenish because you can keep ordering whatever you want on the iPad. So the first thing that they serve when you sit down is this plate <laughs> of meat selection. Mm. Shall we get cooking? Pro tip! Dun, 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 dun. So when you start off with your meat grilling, you want to start with the fattier cuts first to coat the grill with some oil. If my mom sees it, she'll say, Hey, you're so fatty, but I see it and I love it. Because I like fat. Fat's its flavour. Let's add some vegetables. They have a lot of fresh vegetables. Mm. They've got capsicums, mushrooms, onions, and garlic. So while you let your meat cook, what you need to do is go to the side. Hey, huh? Eat like a true Asian. Ah, but Asian also use spoon. <laughs> oh, it's really good. Well, the flavours in this rice are just overpowering. Mm. And you get these little bits of the deep fried garlic, so it's crispy as well. You know, when I go for buffets, right, I usually don't go for the cup. Yeah, but I can't help it. The rice is so good. Udon, tell me what to do. I won't tell you what to do, <laughs> but we're going to try the udon. <laughs> Alright, so they actually have two types of udon. This is the soup udon that you have to order through the iPad. And with me, you have the stir fried udon, which you can get from the cook. So the soupy udon tastes very strongly of the Japanese soy sauce. It gives a very authentic feel to the bowl of noodles. For me, it's more on the sweet side, which I love because I like eating sweet stuff. But if you're a savory person, you might want to get the soupy one instead. I got you the Japanese curry and then I drizzle it over Japanese white curry. rice. Always a favourite. Mm, really soft, mildly spicy. But I think honestly, choosing between the garlic fried rice and the Japanese curry rice, I would still hit back for the garlic fried rice. What do you have? I have chawamushi! I think they infuse dashi stock into mm. this egg, right? So that the flavour just is very, very strong. Mm. The saltiness is just right, so it's not overpowering the egg taste as well. Can you hear the oh, sizzle? And it becomes so crispy. Whoa! Let's try the pork belly first. It's nicely set on the outside, so it's mm. a little bit crisp. And I find that the pork collar is more tender than the pork belly. I tried the pork belly with the sweet miso sauce. It has a very strong sweet punch to it. I feel like you like a bit of spice for your food, right? Just go straight to the spicy miso. Shall we move on to, to the, the beef? beef? I like my beef to be medium rare. So I'm actually going to pop all these right out now because I want them to be overcooked. I tried the beef chuck tender and you can really taste the charcoal around the meat. So for the beef chuck short plate, right, I really love how it's tender and fatty at the same time. So it's really flavorful. Again, I wouldn't recommend adding the sauce, but if you want to make it sweeter a little bit, you yeah. can add the sweet miso sauce. The four kinds of meat that we have tried, right, there are also three other. There's bacon, there's beef strip loin and chicken. My favourite meat was actually the pork collar. Surprisingly, because I thought I would prefer the beef. I would say it's the beef chuck short plate. Because it's like more tender, more flavourful, and you really don't have to pair it with any sauce. Mm, it's okay. that good on its own. Okay, what about your favourite side? side. I know you can choose. Ah! <laughs> this one, this She's side. gonna go right for the garlic rice. This lunch buffet is really good for people who work around the area or like students after school. You wanna piss up your friends because you don't really smell after the buffet. They have like ventilation right <laughs> at the grill. Oh, that's why the smell just retains it. Yeah. Because I expect it to be very smelly, yeah. but surprisingly, we are okay. I think they, they put on like a mandel pop 
playlist that goes for like hours and it's all your favourite KTV hits eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like you double up your karaoke and your lunch at the same time. We're going to take a short break from all the grilling. We're here at Sukiya now and it's like a Japanese hot pot buffet restaurant. I think most of you would be familiar with Sukiya. They've got so many outlets located all over Singapore from Tampines Mall to Plaza Singh, even Safra to Payo. So we have ordered all the meats on the menu. There's chicken, there's pork, there's beef and their latest addition which is beef short plate. So shall we get cupping for even more food? Yes! A very funny thing to add. I realised that a lot of their customers here are all the beef guys. So they go in the gym they come and eat all the protein. Show their arms, just show their arms. Like they reach out to take the... Oh my god, can we, can we actually ask some of them to like... <laughs> First up, we have the vegetables. I think this is a very typical spread of vegetables that they have. Mm. It's very good for a foundation of your hot pot. Adds that veggie sweetness to your soup broth. Oh yeah. Yeah. And if you move a little bit downwards, we have all the oh. balls and a tofu. They've got so many different types of sauces. Yeah. I love making the sauces myself. You know what's great about Sukiya? Mm. You immediately get a duo of soups without additional charges. So I got the sukiyaki broth because I find it pairs really well with like sliced meat because it's sweet and savoury. So the other broth that we have is the butaniku which mm. is a pork base. So if you want a richer and a meatier flavour, this is it. How I like to start my hot pot is to just some all the vegetables first because you want to add some natural sweetness to the broth. Sure. Uh, my favourites would be the corn. Another thing that we should put into our soup first, right, would mm. be all the balls, like the oh, yeah. sotong ball, fish ball, squid ball, everything. Especially when you have those cheesy balls, right? I'm sure you want it to be really oozy and melty when you mm. take it out later. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, look at our meat towers. The meat here is thinly sliced, so you just need to swish wash for like 10 to 20 seconds, then you can like eat it already. So the first cut that we're gonna try, mm. maybe we'll start with the beef. Swish, 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 swish. swish, swish. That took like <laughs> really 10 seconds or less. Now that we've tried both, which do you prefer? Get on three, okay? One, two, three. Beef, beef short plate. Bro. Actually, it's kind of expected that. Eh? So far, I've always preferred the leaner one, right? And I've always preferred the fattier one. Yeah, layers of fat along the side, which I have to say really helps to add the juiciness to the slice of meat. Yeah, I feel like people who want a leaner cut definitely order more of the beef cube roll and then those who want to go for more flavour order the beef short plate. Mm. Another way to eat this, recommended by Sukiya, is to dip it in freshly beaten egg. Which is apparently a traditional dipping sauce. Mm. I actually like the texture that the egg gave to the beef. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot silkier. Eventually when you swallow it, right, everything is just like glides down it your glides throat. It glides down right? your throat, yes. Can I just say that Kiara has already finished her entire tray of the short rib. And my tray is still full eh. I didn't even realise that. <laughs> now, I'm gonna try the chicken. And I'm gonna try the pork. I think this is done. Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna try this pork with my saucy creation. Okay, so I just dumped a lot of garlic into the sauce. Uh. We'll see how it goes. It's good eh. The meat for the pork is really tender. It's a lot more tender than the beef actually. Really? Yeah, so I actually prefer the pork over the beef. I think the great part about sukiya is that it lets you create your own types of sauces. Mm. Everybody has their own customizable sauce. I'll try the spicy mala sauce. It's very spicy! <laughs> I can actually smell how spicy this sauce is. Okay, I thought that it wouldn't taste like mala because it looks so orangey but wow, this really packs a punch. Mine is a good pairing, the chicken and the mala. Try that, try that. Okay, now that everything is cooked, I think we should try the soup, right? You can never go wrong with sukiyaki broth. It's like so sweet, yet savoury at the same time. I'm actually really surprised at how extensive the spread Sukiya has. Mm -hmm. They have salmon ball, lobster ball, mushroom ball. And Sukiya actually has a good variety of vegetables as well. I feel like the variety that they have mm. makes this buffet so value for money. Yeah. It's only $18.90. It's so ridiculous for the amount of things that you can have. Eh. Okay, the broth that we got, right, is a bit on the richer side. So yep. if you want something spicy, you can go for the kimchi, which is sweet and sour at the same time. As you can see, we still have a wide spread here on the mm -hmm. table. So let's dig in and finish up. We'll see you at our next location. Last but not least, we are here at Tajimaya. Ah, Tajimaya is another charcoal grill Japanese buffet restaurant. It's like a level up from the previous two that we've eaten. Because, because this has 
Wagyu beef. beef. Damn. Well, it also says in the menu that there's free flow sashimi and sushi. This restaurant is really value for money because it's $49.90 for lunch buffet with free flow menu items of over 50. Are you ready to eat? I'm ready to order. Let's, Let's go! Before we start on all the heavy food, we're going to go for the appetizers first. They've got cold appetizers, hot appetizers, salads and sashimi and mm -hmm. sushi. I want to go right for sashimi actually. Oh my gosh, she seriously chopsticks. She's really bad at using chopsticks. I like how thickly sliced each piece of salmon is. It's really fresh. The maguro is also very, very thickly sliced and it just feels so rich and they're really pampering me. Just the best way to start your palate. Any buffet with free flow sashimi is a good buffet. So what are we here for? Okay, we're here for the wagyu and they have the tri tip, the short rib and the oxtail. So for wagyu, right, you don't want to overcook it. So as soon as you see a bit of cooling on one side of the beef, it's time to turn to the other oh, side. Oh, okay. Are you supposed to cook this until there's no more red left? No, actually you're supposed to take it out now. Oh. now let's take it out now. Can you see the oh, oil? Oh, it's red. really dripping. We have the tri tip. It mm. looks like a bakwa coin. It's so juicy and flavorful and oily because hashtag fat is flavor. I love it. When I first put it in my mouth, I was surprised by how sweet it was. Mm. I think the seasoning goes very well with this meat mm. and it just enhances the flavour. Yes, and it's so tender. It's very easy to chew. Wagyu is really just a whole different experience. Eh? The best way to eat it is like medium rare. So this one that we have is the... Short rib. This is better than the one before. I know why she prefers this one. With the fat layer, you can see it visually. Mm. And you know that once I put it in my mouth, I can feel the difference because there's just a lot more layers to it. Mm. No, I never felt so bad eating while you are filming because this is really good. Shall we move on to the pork? Oh, yes. the Iberico pork that you were raving over, right? Mm. So this is the Iberico pork collar and this is the pork belly they use a kimchi marinade. While we wait for the meat to cook, right, let's pile on the veggies. I see why you said that Iberico pork is like the Wagyu version of mm -hmm. pork. Because it's very tender, it's soft and easy to chew and you can still taste the porky flavours. Mm. We just tried the pork belly. Something that took me by surprise is how strong the kimchi flavour is mm. in this slice of pork. The first taste that you experience is this citrusy sourness, which is very refreshing. A bit spicy, so it's a nice break lah. Oh, seafood. is it time for the seafood now? <gasps> oh, it is! <laughs> <laughs> Can you don't douse my excitement? <laughs> First up, for seafood, we have a platter of different fishers and this thing... Shamo. <laughs> and they also have scallop and tiger prawns. I really like that they give a trio of fishes because the salmon is really soft, mm -hmm. the saltfish has a tougher bite and then the tuna is like right smack in the middle of both. Look at the scallops, it's like puckering in its shell, sizzling with its juices. I've been eyeing this scallop since just now, so... Mm -hmm. Ah! <laughs> the scallop is sweet and salty at the same time, it's like the best of both worlds. How about you? How's the shishamo? Okay. Oh wow, okay so the shishamo got cracked open by the grill. It is full of egg. I love the texture. So it's really crispy on the outside. And then it has that really nutty flavour. So very aromatic again. It's really hard to go wrong with seafood because after grilling it on the charcoal, right, you can really taste the sweetness of the seafood and you don't need any marinade or sauce to go along with it. I don't know if you agree with me on the fish, but grilling it makes it juicier. But then I would still leave it for sashimi though. Yeah. It's like fresher. Mm -hmm. But, wow, I would still definitely eat the shishamu. So far, the here. Everything! <laughs> I mean, okay, for me, I love that we can start off with free flow sashimi. The meat here that they have are all of very premium quality. So the Wagyu beef, I think my favourite has got to be the tri-tip. I'm definitely going to bring my brother here because it ticks all the right boxes. And actually this place is very good for big gatherings, like a communal dining with the charcoal grill in the yeah. middle. Uh, I would recommend this to working adults because it's located in Vivo City. Mm. Super convenient. The yeah. offices are around this area as well. And actually the ambiance here, you know, let's sit back and relax. <sighs> and the best part is that after such a heavy meal, you can just walk out for a stroll along the boardwalk. Mm. Okay, you go. Bye. <laughs> Come with me lah! Chi <laughs> buffet, but definitely chi tao bao. Very, very bao. Yeah, I feel like this episode is one of my favourites so far mm -hmm. because 
We've eaten buffet the entire day. Yes. And the fatty meat, oh my gosh, premium Wagyu beef. Tajimaya is my favourite. I'm going back for you. I would actually definitely go back to Tajimaya as well. Mm. But my preference has got to go with Sukiya because it's so value for money. Yeah. And it's a little bit on the healthier side because, you know, soup basis. Hey, but we got to give it up for Roku Yakiniku. I mean, their ambiance is out of this world. Yes, all those Mando pop songs you can sing along to. Yeah, two in one. And I'm really happy that we get to share with you guys this one-for-one -one promotion across all the buffets that we have tried today because of the Maybank card. So no matter which is your favourite, Maybank has all these deals for you. Thank you for watching this episode of Eat Book Vlogs! Don't forget to watch all our other videos over there. And remember to like, share and subscribe! Bye-bye! Till the next buffet! Ah, let's go.